take the oil and put on your forehead father let there be divine protection healing of all who are sick in the name of jesus Lick it a little bit turn around for every challenge let your will be done in our lives in jesus name amen now let's take the the body of jesus this is the communion the body and the blood begin to pray begin to pray one corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 to 26 for i have received of the lord that which also i delivered unto you that the lord jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. As we take this god we receive supernatural strength for the journey in jesus name i want us to say this prayer remember what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and in the end lose his soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So we are going to pray about the coming of Jesus. Jesus is coming soon. At a time when we do not expect. We are going to ask God to prepare us for his coming. Prepare us for his coming. Raka sakata rabba shakata. Rapa shakata rabba shara rabba sara rabba shara. Braba kosota ilakwa sakata. Rapa sakata rababasha. Rabba kosanta rabasha. We're going to say, God, prepare us for your coming. The different um, events happening are showing that the rapture will soon happen. In the book of um, Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. Verse 8, it says, always be clothed in white. Always be clothed in white. Revelation 7 verse 14. It says, I answered. Let's start from verse 13. Then one of the elders asked me, these in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, sir, you know. And he said, these are they who came out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. So this white symbolizes something. We're going to ask God that on that day we'll be dressed in white. On that day we'll be ready. We'll not be found wanting. Jesus is coming again. Begin to pray for your soul. Father, prepare us for eternity. Let us not be found wanting on that day. Save unsaved loved ones. Cleanse us, O oh God. Say, God, I want to have oil in my lamp. I want to have oil in my lamp. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Rabako Sakata Rababasha Rabasakata Rababasha Rababasha Rabako Sokoto Rabasha Rabasakata Rababasha Kata Rababasha Rabako Sakata Rababasha Rabaka Sakata Rababasha In Revelation chapter 14 The book of Revelation chapter 14 It says from verse 1, Then I saw the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him one forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their forehead. And, they, and I heard a sound from heaven like the roaring of a great waterfall, or the roaring of mighty thunder. And it was like the sound of many harpies playing. This great choir sang a, a wonderful new song in front of the throne of God, and before the four living creatures, and the 24 elders, and no one could learn this song except those 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. For they are spiritually undefiled, pure as virgins, following the lamp wherever he goes. They have been purchased from among the people on the earth as a special offering to God and to the lamp. No falsehood can be charged against them. They are Blameless. I want to use the King James Version to read chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. Say, Lord Jesus, purify me. Anything in me that is defiled from what I watch, from the thoughts, from the things. You see, it's not what goes in a man or woman that defiles them. It's what comes out. Purify my garment, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, God, for purification. Thank you for healing America and all the countries of the world. The glory of the Lord will fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. Thank you for writing our names and even our unsaved loved ones. You've saved them and you're writing their names in the book of life. Thank you for healing the sick. We shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living and to the shame of the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for delivering the, our presidents and leaders all over the world. And thank you for sending revival to every nation, in the youths, in the children, in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. We shall not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living and to the shame of the devil in Jesus' name. I feel a great peace here. Amen. God bless you. Keep praying.